And I'm already off to a bad start. I forgot to film myself rummaging for this card. Let's see if we can salvage this video. Hello, is this Reese ND Power Ranger? I mean, Reese ND Card Ranger? I always mess that up, my apologies. Yeah, this is Scott at Ranger Studios. How are you, partner? Groovy, hey, I was rummaging around and I found a really cool satchel page to sell you. No, I'm a dummy and I forgot to film it. You just have to take my word for it. Yeah, so it's a 2001 Upper Deck Origins of the Game. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking $750. Yeah, I pulled it out of a dime box. But it's still way cool. All satchel cards are cool, I know. Because I like your recent D Ford Ranger, I will let it go for $75. Still no. Okay, how about $75 and I throw in a satchel page charcoal drawing? Yippee ki yay. All right, you got it, cowboy. All right, thanks, Reese. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my holy grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my grail card a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. I am super excited about this one, not only because Reese ND Card Ranger is one of my favorite people. I mean, he doesn't make enough videos probably, but he's so stinking nice. But this is one of my favorite baseball images. Reese reached out and asked if I could draw this particular photo, and I couldn't say yes fast enough. I just had to get all those other dumb drawings before this one out of the way first. I'm totally kidding. I'm absolutely 100% committed to each drawing I do, and I want to do such a good job that it will pain me a little bit to give them up. But if I kept them all, I'd be stuck with a bunch of drawings and doodles and not enough wall space. And it's kind of fun to spread the love, as it were. A lot of people have suggested that I keep the Holy Grail series going by picking another Grail card, and I'm not promising anything, but the 49 Bowman Satchel page is right up there at the top of the list. The Leaf one is even cooler, but that one's way out of my league, like the same way Rosario Dawson is out of my league. Totally not happening, but that's okay. I've got lots of cool cards, and I've got Mrs. Reindeer, and um, uh, I, I just know I'm going to get in trouble for this, and I'm trying to work my way out of it here. Uh, Mrs. Reindeer didn't cost as much. Nope. Um, what I'm trying to say is the uh, 49 Bowman is way better than the 48 Leaf, and Mrs. Reindeer is way, way prettier than Rosario. Yeah, I th think she'll buy that. Anyway, Satchel Page, 1948. Uh, Jackie Robinson and Larry Doby integrated baseball the year before, and Satchel felt kind of slighted. Satchel was the biggest name in all of Negro League baseball. Arrogant and cocky and the ultimate showman with the bite to back up his bark, even in his advanced age. Uh, Satchel had been barnstorming for years, so he knew he had the chops to play in the majors. And a few owners considered it, but felt he was just too old and he had too much of a personality. But Bill Veck, who owned the Indians and brought Doby on the year before, wasn't afraid of personality at all. He was all about putting on a good show. The Indians were on the hunt for the pennant. Page knew Bob Feller through years of barnstorming, and Larry Doby was coming into his own, so the time was right. For Satch, it wasn't about the money. He made more than most MLB players already. He needed to prove to the world that he was a major leaguer. And on July 9th, 1948, Satchel made his major league debut, becoming the first African-American pitcher in the major leagues. He did quite well that year with a 6-1 record and a 2.48 ERA, and fans showed up in droves to watch him pitch. And later that season, he became the first African-American to pitch in the World Series. I found it interesting that being the only two African Americans on the team, Satch and Doby were roommates, but they didn't really get along very well. Larry Doby was very quiet and reserved, quite the opposite of Satchel Page. I also think there should be a movie about Satchel. There were a couple made-for-TV movies in the 80s and 90s, but I want to see a good budgeted Hollywood movie, you know? But who would play him? Maybe Anthony Mackie, but he seems kind of short. Uh, Don Cheadle might be too old already. Ooh, what about Marshala Ali? That might work. And then you could have Rosario Dawson as some sort of love interest. Rawr. Or maybe not. Maybe I should just go watch the Bingo Long Traveling All-Stars and Motor Kings again. Before I get into trouble again, how about a terrible joke? 
When I was a kid, like many of you, I had big, big dreams of becoming a famous baseball player. One day, I was at the Sandlot, and I proudly proclaimed, I am the greatest batter in the world. I tossed the ball up in the air, swung with all my might, and then I missed and fell to the ground. Strike one. So I got up, <clears throat> brushed myself off, you know, tossed the ball again, kept my eye on it, and swung. And again, the ball hits the ground with a thud. Strike two. So I started humming the theme from the movie The Natural, you know. Do, 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 do. I took a deep breath, tossed that ball once again, and I took a mighty home run swing, but the ball landed in the dirt at my toes. Strike three. I paused for a second, and then I ran around the field cheering with my hands in the air. I am the greatest pitcher in the world. There's Mr. Page. Really hard to give this one up, so mission accomplished. Someday I'm going to do a Satchel Page piece and keep it all for myself. Four blips closer to my Cy Young card today. Thanks, Reese and D Card Ranger, for asking me to do this one. I really, really enjoyed it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll catch you next time. Unless Mrs. Reindeer has taken away my YouTube privileges.